Pretty Little Liars, though. 7A. Hello beautiful creatures of the world and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about Pretty Little Liars season 7A, so the first half of season 7, but most specifically um, the summer finale that just happened. So if you haven't seen the summer finale of Pretty Little Liars or you haven't seen, you're not caught up through the first 10 episodes of season 7, do not watch this because there will be spoilers. So season 7 is half done. I can't believe it. Season 7 is the final season and there's only 10 episodes left of the entire series. I don't know how to process that information. It is so sad. I'm so upset about it, but I'm also so excited because, oh my gosh, that summer finale was crazy. So let's just talk about it for a minute. First of all, remember how they were like, we're going to change our name from ABC Family to Freeform because the family part, we had to keep it like so clean and we want to like, I don't know, I don't want to say like dirty it up, but they want to like show stuff that's a little bit more graphic, which, oh my gosh, they did because Noel got decapitated and we saw Noel get decapitated. But I think a lot of people could agree that absolutely the craziest part of the episode was the part where after Spencer was shot, which, by the way, who shot her? Was that actually Jenna or was it AD that shot her? I don't think they made that very clear. Mary came and she was like pushing on like Spencer's wound and was like, honey, you're my daughter or I'm your mother or blah, blah, blah. And my first thought, my first thought was, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call BS on that one. Like, I don't believe you, bitch. So for a long time, no doubt in my mind, that bitch was lying. But now I think she might have been telling the truth, and here's why. Oliver Goldstick, okay, one of the executive producers, whenever he talks or tries to give hints of interviews and stuff, he tries to use very, like, scholarly words. I don't know if he's trying to confuse us or what. I mean, I don't know. No hate to him, I guess. But... <laughs> He said, like, we pay homage to the books, but we are our own series. In the book series, I've actually, one of my, or at this point, the most popular upload I've ever had was my video that I made, like, probably two years ago at this point, where I talk about, um, the difference between the series and the books, but there my focus was on Alison De Laurentiis. But in the books, basically what happened, so if you haven't read the books or you want to and you don't want spoilers, go away because book spoilers right now, is that Allie and Spencer were actually sisters. And what happened was, you know how Spencer's biological dad was Jason's biological father and Kenneth De Laurentiis wasn't Jason's father biologically? Well, the same thing happened in the books, but Allie, with Allie. So Kenneth wasn't Allie's biological father either. So Spencer and Allie are half-sisters and they share the same father. So I think this would actually be a really cool way because if Mary actually is Spencer's mother, that means biologically Allie and Spencer would be sisters because if identical twins have like, identical twins have the same DNA and Mary and Jessica are supposed to be like identical twin sisters, which would mean biologically Spencer and Allie are half sisters. So like in the books, they're half sisters, but in the TV show, they did it in a different way. Kind of like how in the books, um, like the alley that like the liars do in the books was an alley. It was Allie's twin, Courtney, and then it was Courtney's sister, the real alley that was A. So just like it was kind of Allie's sister who was A in the books, Allie's sister, Cece, was the one who was A in the TV series. I remember when I watched the season five finale and I saw Charles back when Charles was a boy with Jason, I thought... Jason has a twin, so just like the book, they're going to do the twins thing, but instead of Allie having the twin, Jason will have the twin, which turned out to not be the case. It turned out to be, well, you know what happened. I'm not going to get into it, but it turned out to be Jessica that has a twin and it's Mary. But it's like, they keep it similar to the books in the sense that like the main storylines and like the character setup is the same. They just make it different as the approach. And I actually love that. So Ultimately, I think that the episode itself was pretty boring. Like, it had excitement in it, so it wasn't necessarily, like, boring to watch, but not a lot was revealed. Not a lot really happened, except for that last reveal, which I think made the episode brilliant because it's showing, like, we're staying with the books, but we're doing it in a different way. And I just think it's so cool that, like, they created the sort of essence of the show in that way. I'm guessing this video is going to be pretty short, but I'm probably going to end it there just because I could ramble on forever, but that's really the only main point that I wanted to make. I would love to know what you guys thought of the finale in the comment section below, and while you're down in the comments, make sure to scroll on up to the description box, because I have my social media links in there, and make sure to hit that beautiful subscribe button, because I make new videos every single Friday, and I will see y'all next time. Love y'all, deuces.